G'day, uh, we dive the HMOS Canberra on uh, grand final day, September 2014. Uh, we went down to the bow and entered through this point. Um, after uh, 20 minutes, we pretty much will only very quickly cover the bow. I have done one previous dive on this where we covered the stern and um, I really look forward to finally finding the bridge, etc. Still have you found it. What makes this dive awesome, uh, now that I'm two dives, is that I don't think um, you'll get bored of this dive for at least 10 or 10 to 20 dives. Just awesome. Uh, enjoy the video and uh, sorry if you get seasick. It was a nice rough day and uh, I was taken down by dad. Very proud to take him down to do his first wreck dive. Enjoy. Uh, any comments, welcome. For those that haven't died before, the crunching or crackling noise, that's fish eating and obviously you can hear us uh, breathing uh, in and out in the bubbles. Any clunks, that's when we uh, run into things. When you're diving, it's very important to keep an eye on the air and the time you've been under especially when you're 30 metres or so, because then you need to think about how long you need to pause before you come up to decompress. For those that haven't died before, that extra breathing type noise, we're not actually breathing, we're putting air into our location device, which is called a buoyancy compensation device, a BCD, around us so that we can float through the water or, uh, in this case, sink to the bottom so that we didn't get washed around so much. On this dive, the water was uh, pushing us around so much it wasn't just pushing this uh, side to side, but up and down. And this pause on the ladder was because the water had sort of pinned me down, which wasn't too stressful because I've, I've been here, I've done that before. But for the new people, they're the sort of things you need to think about when the tides are running. You just need to relax and go with the water. Gee guys, sorry about that. I'm actually getting seasick just watching this, but I've left it in there to show you just uh, how sort of rough it was on this day. This is an instance where they cut the massive holes through the whole ship to make sure that it sunk uh, well and flat. They didn't want it to hit the bow or the stern, or it might have split in two, so it's pretty cool to be able to look through the whole ship. I'm no expert, but my dad and his dad was in the Navy, and I think this might be the uh, loading chute for missiles, etc., to go down to the bottom where they could launch the missile from. Correct me if I'm wrong, I appreciate it. I've done a lot of Googling, I couldn't figure it out. Our 20 metre dive seemed to go real quick. 
and on the way back it appeared that the tide had uh, strengthened so the pauses are when I'm waiting for the tide to scoop me forward and then I'll hold on when it blows against me and then let go and move forward again. Uh, heaps of fun once you know how to work with the tides. As you'll see here, Dad's about to get shot forward, which is heaps of fun. So it's time to head out. But with the rough water, you'll see that it got knocked about quite a bit. And then when Dad comes out, he even gets blown by the tide against the fence with a nice audible clunk, which I found quite amusing. fun to get washed about quite a bit on this dive, the boom was the second one on the uh, HMOS Canberra. Can't wait to go back, I thought I'd get to the bridge this time, but I didn't. And uh, so proud to take my dad on his first uh, ship dive, shipwreck dive. Um, I hope you had fun dad, and hope you'd want to come back. Uh, it was grand final day, and I was super stoked to get back, we didn't miss the final, and I even won a bit of money. Cheers guys, I hope you loved the video. Comment like, share, you know what to do. Cheers.